It's a pretty special building here in London. I'm at the Natural History Museum to check out some amazing things inside. In fact, it's got real dinosaurs in there, the origins of the Earth, real life meteorites. It's going to be good. If you're brand new here, please make sure you give the video a thumbs up, hit subscribe if you haven't already, and let's go inside. It's weird to touch something that's come from out of space. There's one crazy escalator. This is what it's like to be in an earthquake. This place is huge. These are the things that live in your kitchen. Scary. I think that must be the biggest scorpion I have ever seen. Closest thing you're going to get to being in Hogwarts. Look at that. It is an amazing building. As you walk in, the first thing you see is that. Wow. Amazing. Look at the size of this fish this is a blue marlin that is crazy imagine swimming in the water with that or maybe eating that with some chips <laughs> that is massive and these are real bones when you come in here they're not fake like madame two swords this is a uh, an american mastodon these fossil trees are 385 million years old that's a little bit crazy. So obviously you can get a map, which is uh, a pound, which is put a donation in here. But it's kind of like, where do you go first? Um, I think it's only right we go and check out the dinosaurs first, which is through here. If you're a big fan of Jurassic Park, you'll love coming in here. So here's the map, obviously, going into the dinosaur center so it's all separated blue zones which are dinosaurs fish nature uh, mammals marine and then the green bit is all birds and minerals and treasures and the red zone is earth's history human evolution volcanoes and earthquakes so it should be interesting now like most of the museums it's quite dark in places but um, hopefully you'll be able to see everything so you get an idea of what earth was like with dinosaurs crazy to think what it must have been like it must have been a noisy place some dinosaur heads up there look at that is this Tyrannosaurus Rex Is that to scale? I don't know. The kids seem to like it though. See all the baby dinosaurs look. It's just like Jurassic Park. So you can check out Tyrannosaurus tooth. Even the biggest predator could snap its teeth on bone hard armor like this. Scary. I thought my cat's claws were sharp. Look at that. Just look at that. So you can see the anatomy of a dinosaur's leg. 
and how they move. And they've even got some dinosaur footprints down here as well. A small baby one. <laughs> the way it runs, can you see that? Look at that! No one seems really interested in this, but um, this is, of course, not the actual meteorite that killed the dinosaurs, but uh, an actual meteorite from outer space. And you can touch it as well. Isn't that amazing? The reason why the shades are drawn are obviously because these are real dinosaur bones and they uh, want to stay protected, so the, the room is temperature controlled. Look at that. I mean, there's still some people that believe the dinosaurs never existed at all, but when you find the bones and the crazy thing is when you think about it is how did us humans know where the bones went where when they found them but absolutely amazing look at these tell you what you wouldn't be walking in the countryside and seeing these although they wouldn't be in the countryside would they look at this this thing is massive. So, just look at that. I mean, you could actually get inside its stomach. What's really weird is when you see signs saying, do not touch the dinosaur. It just sounds crazy. Do not touch the dinosaur. There's some really little cool models as well. One sixth life size of some of these dinosaurs. Which way do we go? Do we go right or do we go left? As I trip up the stairs, we'll go left. So look at that. Closest thing you're going to get to being in Hogwarts. <laughs> See where these stairs go. This place is huge. Look at it. Incredible. That looks like a, uh, a tree. It's one big tree. Wow, look at all these birds in here. Wow. Big ones. Little small ones. So if you want to see more museum videos, you should also check out my video from the National Museum as well in London. They've also got a pretty nice cafe in here as well. So if you want to take a break, get yourself a coffee, some uh, tasty cake as well. Looks pretty good. So I'm going into the orange zone right now, which is uh, David Attenborough's area. Wow, this is pretty amazing and of course this is a life-size model of a, is it a blue whale? That's just crazy, it's bigger than a truck.
wonder what it's like in here, the creepy crawly room. Oh, you don't like creepy crawlies. Could be not a good idea coming in here. What's this? Press the button to select your order. <laughs> Let's go for a Bloody Mary. Nice. Delicious. Oh. I think that must be the biggest scorpion I have ever seen. Can you imagine if one was that big? Number one crawly house. A random. It's like a kitchen. <laughs> These are the things that live in your kitchen. Scary. I've seen them before, you know. If you don't use flour for a long time, you get flour mites. Weird. I've seen some of these. Obviously, these are massively blown up to scale. In fact, you can actually see how small they are next to it. Look. Human rating. These are bad. They live in stuff like beans, dried peas, lentils. Ooh. And how about... Uh, oh, flies. Oh, nice. And spiders that come out your sink. That's obviously been blown up to size, but that's what it really looks like. A woodworm. You don't want those in your precious bits of furniture, because that's what they can do to wood. Now, thankfully, we don't have too many spiders in the UK, but um, some of those spiders there, the huntsman, the harvestman spider that they have in Australia, you probably can't see on the camera, but those are flipping massive. It's weird, seeing all the photos of spiders and mites and all that kind of stuff, I'm getting itchy. Oh. And here's a perfect example why you shouldn't leave some food outside. Fly, they'll land in poo, <laughs> and land on your sandwich. I feel like I've come on a day where there are kids everywhere. Obviously, a lot of these children are on school trips, some are on holiday, but there's strollers everywhere. So the red zone is this way, and what I'm interested in going to see volcanoes and earthquakes and earth's treasures and human evolution and stuff like that. Look at that. The dido that's extinct. Funny birds. So you can pay extra to go into the wizarding world of fantastic beasts free for members. If you're not a member you've got to pay. Right, I'm a little bit lost so I just need to figure out where I am. So I'm there, I need to go upstairs. Red Zone Galleries. So this is where you learn about Earth's history from the very beginning. find out about the planets, which is pretty cool. Your eyes are drawn everywhere, you don't know where to look. I open the case to see a selection of rocks and fossils from that particular period. Alright. So you can see rocks from all over the world, look. From the highlands, Scottish borders. I think this is all the UK, yeah. I feel like I'm playing deal or no deal. Don't want to depress you, but what is Earth's future all about? Wow, look at this. Now this is the part that I wanted to go and see because Going up that escalator is going to be so much fun. If you love fossils, this is the room to go in. And all different kinds of rocks and precious gems. So many. It's crazy to think all this comes from the earth.
This room is insane. You can see all the constellations of all the stars on the wall. Now, sometimes there is a queue to go on this escalator <laughs> because you're going through the centre of the earth. But it is pretty special. Um, and it's best to leave a good space between you and the next person so you can enjoy it. Because if there's people right next to you, you probably won't be able to take it in like this. This is amazing. Imagine if you could take an escalator through the centre of the earth. <laughs> That is one crazy escalator. This is the part I'm most interested about. Volcanoes and earthquakes. Touched to show large earthquakes since 2000. It's quite a lot. They should also add La Palma on there too. It is fascinating. I find volcanoes so fascinating though. Look at that, Look how it comes up through the earth. Biggest volcano on earth. People don't realise that it's actually Yellowstone National Park and if this goes off, then I think the whole world would change forever. I'd love to go to um, the Yellowstone National Park, it'd be amazing. Still don't think that's going to save you. That's a heat suit. Can we stand temperatures of a thousand degrees? Look at that. Scary to think. We're just there. Just look how thick and deep the earth goes. We're just on the very edge. Here is another actual meteorite. It's weird to touch something that's come from outer space. And apparently this is what it's like to be in an earthquake. See the floor moving, things breaking. Whoa, this is weird. Can't say I've ever known, I've never been in an actual earthquake, but this is what it feels like about it. This building is so beautiful. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you found it interesting. If you liked it, please make sure you give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe and click that notification bell so you know when I upload a new video. From the National History Museum, I'll see you next time.